بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ٹو آل آف یو ویلکم ٹو آل آف یو ایٹ مائی چینل نالج فار آل سیکرس آئی ایم شان آل رستمانی اینڈ آئی ہوپ دیٹ یو آل ول بی فائن ویئر ایور یو آر سو ٹوڈے ان ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن دیٹ ہاؤ وی ول کریٹ اوور اون لائبریری ان کیلیبر ای بک ای بک مینجمنٹ سسٹم اوکے سافٹ ویئر سو ہاؤ کین وی میک اوور اون لائبریری اوور اون ڈیجیٹل لائبریری وتھ اوور اون نیم اور وتھ اوور اون لائبریریز نیم فار ایگزامپل وی ہیو اینی لائبریری اینڈ یو وانٹ ٹو گیو گیو نیم ٹو دس ڈیٹا بیس ٹو یور اون لائبریریز نیم سو یو کین گیو نیم ٹو دس لائبریری اوکے اور Another thing we will learn in this video that how can we connect to the server, okay? How can we connect this software to the server as everyone can use your digital library, okay? For example, in a university, you are connecting this software, you are connecting your digital library to the server and anyone can use your software of caliber or anyone can use your library which you have created as digital library so they can use from their location okay so how can we make our own library so today we are going to start that in caliber software in caliber ebook management system software how can we create our own library okay so first of all we are going to start without any wasting any time we are going to start that how we can make our own library we have already learned that how to add books how to edit metadata how to convert book how to view books and how to get books directly from different databases okay so today we are going to learn that how we can remove books how we can create our own library and how we can connect this digital library to the server as anyone can use from their location okay so first of all we are going to remove books how we can remove books okay there are two options number one just right right click and click on remove book okay any book which you want to remove just click on right book right right click on that book and remove from here okay click on remove books another option is just select any book for example we are going to remove this book just select and click on remove selected books okay they will ask for your surety that are you uh, sure that you want to delete this book then just you have to click on yes okay otherwise click on no okay so now we are going to learn that how we can create our own library okay our own library's name how can we create our own library okay so just you have to go in caliber library okay we are going to create our own library okay click on caliber library and then it it's saying that your caliber library is currently located at d drive caliber library okay if you want to give your new location then give new location from here okay for example we are giving location uh, we are going to make new folder and give location to it okay for example we are writing its name my caliber library my caliber library okay so we are giving this location okay we are selecting this folder and create an empty library to the new location we are going to create an empty library for our new location okay with our own library's name create an empty library at the new location yes we are going to create we want to create new library and empty library for our own library 
and then just you have to click on OK. Okay. Click on OK. For example, we are giving another name. Uh, whatever you give name for example mute library for example mute library okay we are getting this location and click on ok so look at here our library is now created as our own name our library's name okay mute library so now here we can add different types of books different types of material just like i already mentioned you in last video that's how can we add book okay we are going to add book again add books uh, i have only two books you know, downloaded right now so i'm going to add both of books okay just click on control and select these both books and click on ok okay so this is both the both books will be added to our own library now caliber is adding both books in our own library okay here it is so see our two titles are added in our digital library here of mute library you can give your own library's name here okay so that's how we can create our own library and add books to the library you can add it metadata of this library also of or you can add it metadata of these titles also okay we have just added two books so two books are shown so you can add it metadata you can convert it from pdf to another format you can view from here if you want to get another book you can click on get books and uh, search for that any book and if you want to remove just click on remove and then our new library is now created this is our library's name so now we are working in our own library okay which is mute library so that is how we can create our own library and add books to that okay it is very simple not uh, difficult you just have to practice a little bit and now very important that how can we connect this software to the server okay how can any user of our library or any user of our college or library or school wherever you are working how can these how can those uh, students or uh, users can use this library okay so we are going to uh, learn that how can we connect to the server okay so for connecting your library to the server you have to click on connect or share okay for this we can connect to the server just you have to click on server and connect it okay we are going to click on connect so our server is now connected our library is now connected to server what we have to do how can we see that our uh, library is uh, connected to server or not you have to go in your browser your chrome or opera or mozilla whatever you have installed in your computer and then you have to write this ip address okay with this port so we want to check that our library is connected or not then go in browser click on browser and write this write this uh, ip address whatever whatever this is 192.168 we are going to write 192 plus 168 plus 43 plus 114 okay and what is port 8080 okay this, uh, let me check either i am correct or not 192.168.43 and 0.114 and port is 808 8080 okay 
So, 192, I have not written correctly. 192.168.43.114 colon and this is port, okay. 8080 is a port, okay. This is IP address and this is port where your caliber software will run, okay. Just you have to write this IP and port and enter it. Now see our library is now connected to the server, okay. One minute, one minute. Okay. Now, mute library will be connected. Okay. Whatever we what we have to write one nine two plus one six eight plus four three plus. 114 write again 192 plus 192 plus 168 plus 43 plus point 114 and colon 8080 192.168.43.114 Let me check again 192.168.143.114 Okay, okay, right Now just you have to enter it, okay mm, What is the problem? We are writing again 192.168 one six eight point four three point one one four colon eight zero eight zero okay and enter now our library is connected okay see now our mute library is connected to the server now we have to we have created these three libraries but right now our library is mute library so connect this library okay click on this library so these are the books which are available right now in our library just like this we have only two books right now in our library we have just added two books so you can add uh, hundreds of books and thousands of books in this your own library so user can search from there user can use your library give this ip address to the users of your library so they can use from anywhere at their location okay just you have to give anyone who wants to uh, use your library from any location then just you have to give this IP address and port number to the user okay nothing else then he has to click on mute library your own library so these are the books which are available right now in our library so for example I want to I want this book then you just click on this book and see details of the books so now you can write uh, you can read this book also and you can download this book also for example if any student or any user want to read this book right now he can click on he will click on read just like this we are clicking So book is being prepared for reading on the server. It is currently right now on server. So our connection speed is very slow. That's why it's taking time. We are doing another thing right now and we will come back to this after it loaded. Okay. So okay, we are leaving this right now because this is how any student can read book okay right now our uh, internet connection speed is very slow that's why it's taking too much time so we are going to back so if any student or any user 
wants to read this book he has to click on read and if anyone who wants to download this book so just he has to click on download and see here download starts okay book is now completely downloaded if he want to read then he has to click on read if you want to download he has to click on download okay so that's how any student or any user can read and download book from this you just have to give this ip address and port number to your users okay so that's how we can connect our library our digital library to the server as anyone can use this your library from any location okay so that's all from today that's all for today and i hope that you have understand how to connect our library to the server and how you can remove books and how you can create your own library which we have created right now this library mute library you can make your own library okay you can connect just if you want to connect then just click on connect and if you want to disconnect then just you have to stop content server okay you want to stop your server then you have to click on stop content stopping server now it is start now it will not open because we have stopped our server see here 192 now it will not start because we have stopped our server 168 43 114 colon 8080 it will not run because we have stopped our server with library will not work because server is stopped okay so for example we are uh, starting our server and then refresh it and if you will refresh then your library will be connected that's how okay if you want to read if you want to download just you have to click from here so it's very easy how to connect and how to create our own library so i uh, i hope that you have understand very well if you have not understand anything you have just have you just uh, ask me in comments okay and if you have liked this video then click on uh, like button and also share it share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed this channel yet so please subscribe this channel and also click on bell icon to get latest videos about uh, latest videos from this channel about librarianship library automation softwares and other useful softwares so that's all for today see you in next video Allah face by